Okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon, such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So I am learning illustrator and here there is a simple drawing. It takes uh, a two years old, around two minutes or something to draw it, but it will take um, an adult about 20 hours, like myself, 20 hours to draw it on Illustrator. Sometimes I doubt about my intelligence, but uh, such is life, right? So I enlarge it a little bit. I open up a new document, 600 by 400. And uh, what do we do first? We can do the flower and uh, the stem and the leaf. And it seems the stem and the leaf is does not need any transformation, does not need anything. So we can do the leaf first. And to do the leaf, I click on the arc tool. And uh, let's do one and do another one on the parallel, the rotating one, this one, this, this, okay. So it's matching each other, and to bring these two to an enclosed shape, and, um, oh, it looks like 45 degree. That is just perfect. And um, the center, where is the center? Anyway, so we put in the color, put in a, a gradient color, and the, the outline is no outline. The fill will be gradient color. And uh, let me find my swatch. It has disappeared. And where do I, um, I need to find, yes, I have a color. So let's just do it and we make it um, 45 degree. How about it? Because this flower petal is 45 degree. So we make it 45 degree. And it's kind of strange, suddenly becomes like this. This is a good, we will just keep it like this. And then we will rotate it and rotate around this point. And uh, the color will be 180 degree, let's see. Yeah, a little bit better, okay, anyway. The, the edge is darker and the inside is lighter. This is what I have planned. So <coughs> we can uh, put it uh, aside and start to rotate it. Let's first finish the flower. Uh, rotate, transform, and we want to rotate it. I found one thing. If you rotate into even number, Mm -hmm. Let's see. We rotate to six petals. How about that? We make six petals. 360 divided by six is 60. And we need to make five copies, right? And that is what we are going to do. And the rotation is in the middle. That is not right. Go back. And uh, at this time, we first select it and make it into one shape, object, group. So it's one group, object, let me group it again, no more group. Okay, this time we will, we will select it, select it, and uh, effect, transform. And we will transform, rotate on the right 
bottom corner. Let's see how it goes. It is not that bad, right? So we bring everything up a little bit so that we can see clearly. I think we need to shrink it a little bit more, right? And I will proportionally shrink it. So that is it. Put it here. We have done the flower. Now we need to do the stem, which is a rectangle. <coughs> like this. Uh-oh, it is because we have done the rotation. Now we need to go to a uh, window. Uh, uh, window appearance appearance and uh, in the transform we need to make sure the transform does not happen so complicated it remembers what we have done and uh, it's like a police keep a record of what we have done we do not want to want it to keep a record of it and we put a dark green stem, put it, uh, uh, yeah, you can see I'm such a beginner of it. And the flower, maybe we can rotate it a little bit. I just do not feel so... Um, okay. This looks better, right? We put the stem here. Now we need to do some flower. So let's just use this color since it's uh, too complicated. Or oh, maybe we can just do another use arc tool one. And uh, seems we can do um, 20 against 20. Let's see. Oh, that is too small. We will do 40 against 40. Delete it. Okay, we will go to arc tool. Uh, 50. 50. 50. Okay, oh, that is good. And then we do another one, which is this, another 50. And um, we first select, uh oh, control Z. We will select these two. I think there is, yes. And uh, give them a color so that we can see it. Just to go ahead with the green color outline so we can see it and now we will bring this one with this one bring them together and give it a feel a light green color feel the edge is dark green and uh, the feel will be light green this green. Okay, that is not that bad. Uh -oh. So we will uh, make it into one project. So group them together. Uh oh, control Z. And maybe we need to group again. Let's see if we need to group again. No. So this time, what is going on? Object group, okay, I will select both of them, one petal, one leaf, and another one, uh, copy paste, command copy paste, and we rotate it, rotate it, okay. So, this is the other one. Why? Select. Taller. 
so let both of them okay we are good now we are good and uh, we need to bring this one go to the back the green stem so open up the layer now let's see the layer oh let's just bring the flower to the front it might be easier so flower you can do <coughs> object arrange and bring to front only this flower object arrange bring to front see it covers up now it's better now we need to do the <coughs> the flower pot sorry <coughs> so this time the color feel will be earthy color we do a rectangle that's a little bit too big make it thinner that is a little bit too small that is around it okay a little a little bit larger so that it will not fall down so we everything okay now uh, cancel go back this one now we will not make it too complicated command control c control v another one another one bring it under it and the first one we will make it like flower pot and this time we want to make this color a little bit lighter okay and we want to transform it go to transform perspective transform okay so this one we can even make it a little bit smaller no I will not change this one. It's too complicated for me, for my little brain. And this one, we will enlarge a little bit. So it becomes something out of it. And bring this one to the front object arrange bring to front so it covers that that looks a little bit better okay so for now it will be good and uh, this is what i have done what i have learned and uh, it's kind of uh, fun to do it and i saw one um h i k e hike art uh, he is he or she is one of the best i think she might be using a computer sound and always speaking in a very interesting dialect uh, accent anyway so this is what i have done and um, believe it or not i am proud of it can you believe it why not right make it a bit longer yes this is more proportionally looking better shall we put a circle in the center let's see oh we can try a star one two three four, six we can do a six star six and 25 25 2550 let's see what mm. Ooh. not so let's try to shrink it a little bit proportionally put it here not that bad right not that bad and 
I think we can round up a little bit of its corner and uh, stylize inner glow or transform texture artistic object um shall we not be too creative right we just do it like this an inner color i am hesitating about it the color will be this one or this one or this one or this one maybe this is better okay a little a bit smaller shift okay it covers up something that is not so pretty okay that's about it anyway so um it took me 16 minutes to do it but i am learning so many new things and this is infinitely scalable. You can just keep on scale, scale, scale. And it's always just perfect. Let's start to scale it. Okay, I think I can use this one. See? Oh my goodness, infinite scalable, infinite. This is already a gazillion time and still so sharp line. That's something you like about Illustrator, right? It um, makes you crazy, it uh, breaks your heart, but there are times I think I need to save this picture. This one, how about we make it even a little bit bigger? And then put in the center. I put on Smart Guide, so everything is a little bit smaller. I put on Smart Guide, so everything is um, just uh, matching here and there. I love you, I really do, 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 get a flower from me. I am so 